Hello, language learners. Welcome back to Learning English Pro. If you're looking to enrich your vocabulary about the beauty and wonders of gardens, you're in the right place because today we're diving into the enchanting world of garden vocabulary. But before we begin, if you haven't checked out my previous vocabulary lesson on garden tools and equipment, you can find the link on screen right now. Don't miss out. And remember, for a comprehensive list of the vocabulary we'll be covering today, head to the video description below. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's learn some English together. First up, we have the word shed. A shed is a small, often simple structure typically found in gardens. It's used for storing gardening tools, equipment, and other supplies. Shed. Let's move on to pond. A pond is a small, tranquil body of water in a garden. It's often home to aquatic plants and creatures, creating a peaceful and serene atmosphere. Pond. Next up, we have grass. Grass is the luscious green carpet-like plant that covers the ground in most gardens. It's a vital part of the garden ecosystem, providing a soft space to walk and play. Grass. A lawn is a well-maintained area of grass that is mowed and cared for in a garden. It serves as a lush, inviting space for relaxation, outdoor activities, and aesthetic enhancement. Lawn. Let's move on to fence. A fence is a barrier made of wood, metal, or other materials that encloses and separates a garden from its surroundings, adding both aesthetic appeal and privacy. Fence. A flower bed is a designated area in a garden where flowers are planted. It's carefully designed to showcase a variety of colorful blooms. Flower bed. And a flower pot is a container typically made of clay, ceramic, plastic, or other materials used for planting and displaying flowers, plants, or small shrubs. Flower pot. Let's move on to vegetable patch. A vegetable patch is an area within a garden where various edible plants, such as vegetables and herbs, are cultivated. It's a space dedicated to growing fresh and nutritious produce for home consumption, promoting self-sufficiency and healthy eating. Vegetable patch. Next up, we have pathway. A pathway is a trail or walkway made of various materials such as stone, gravel or concrete, guiding you through the garden's beauty and charm. Pathway. A bench is a seating area placed strategically in the garden, offering a comfortable spot to rest and enjoy the scenery. Bench. Next up, we have statue. A statue is a sculpted artistic representation, often made of stone, metal, or other materials, adding a touch of elegance and culture to the garden. Statue. A trellis is a framework of wood or metal designed to support climbing plants like vines and roses, creating a visually appealing vertical garden. Trellis. Next up, we have bird bath. This is a shallow basin filled with water designed to attract birds for drinking and bathing, contributing to the garden's natural charm. Bird bath. A bush is a dense, low to medium sized woody plant with multiple stems and branches. Bushes often add structure and visual interest to a garden offering a variety of foliage, flowers, and sometimes even fruits. Bush. A hedge is a row of closely planted shrubs or bushes that are pruned and shaped to form a boundary or decorative element in a garden. Hedge. Our next term is rockery. 
A rockery is a carefully arranged collection of rocks and stones, often mixed with alpine plants, to create a unique and captivating landscape. Rockery. A terrace is a flat elevated platform built in the garden, often used for outdoor seating, dining or other gardening purposes. Terrace. Up next we have gazebo. A gazebo is a freestanding, open-sided structure with a roof, often placed in gardens as a charming focal point or relaxation spot. Gazebo. A blossom refers to the flower or a group of flowers on a plant, typically signaling the beginning of a plant's reproductive cycle. Blossom. Next up we have a tree, and of course a tree is a perennial woody plant characterised by a single main stem or trunk which supports branches and leaves. Tree. And a fruit tree is a tree that produces edible fruits such as apples, oranges, cherry or peaches. These trees are cultivated in gardens for their delicious and nutritious harvest. Fruit tree. And there you have it, my delightful vocabulary list for everything you might need in a captivating garden. From sheds to ponds and everything in between, these words will surely help you appreciate and describe the wonders of a garden like a pro. Remember, the full list of words is waiting for you in the video description below. And if you enjoy this vocabulary journey, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more enriching content, and don't forget to explore my other lessons too. Thanks for joining me today on Learning English Pro, and remember, keep learning English like a pro.